Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangus, and today I invite you guys to relive a part of my childhood. This is going to be an insane trip down nostalgia lane. The thing is, it's going to be nostalgic for me, not you guys, because you've never seen this game before. And there's no way you could have seen this game before, because it was created by my brother and I back in 2004, using Visual Basic. Now, this is an absolutely insane find. Uh, my brother was cleaning out my parents' garage, and hidden away in a little folder, he uncovers a CD named Backup. And on this CD was just tons of stuff from our childhood. Music we made, pictures we've taken, and also games we created together. Me and my brother, we would uh, create a lot of games together. Most of them have been lost to time, but this particular game called Castle was still on the CD. We had a lot of trouble getting this game to run because it's programmed in Visual Basic using Windows XP. So we actually had to set up a virtual Windows. So basically, you, you uh, I'll show you the program. It's in the background right here. So we're basically emulating Windows XP to run an old version of Visual Basic in order to get this game to run. It, it was a lot of headache, but we were able to get it to work. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to record me playing this game and upload it to my channel because... I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, uh, so this was made in 2014. I was 15. I think my brother was 19. We created games way before then. But as I said, most of those games have been lost to time. So, uh, yeah, I, I didn't want to play this game on my own. I wanted to save it for my recording because, yeah, I think I, this is going to be very enjoyable. So, yeah, here's the main menu. As far as, like, menus go, I don't think it's terrible. Uh, my brother insisted on having this, like, pixelated sliding background. He thought it made the game look cooler. So, it, it looks kind of janky on purpose, actually. It was made to be this way. But it's not a bad menu, honestly, considering this was made by two teenagers in Virtual Basic. So, we're going to start a new game. And here we go. This is the main protagonist. Kind of like a Diablo-style game, except that it's, like, viewed from the bottom and down. Uh, I drew this guy in paint. You know, he's supposed to have black hair. It looks like he's holding a rock, but it's actually meant to be a shield. Uh, I wasn't very good at drawing, so... <laughs> <laughs> the perspective is a little bit off here. So this game is inspired by the old DOS game Castle. It has the same name, even. Uh, I doubt any of you guys actually have played this game. If you have, definitely leave a comment. It's a very old game where you basically ran around and fought monsters. This is an in this is the game is based off that. And uh, yeah. Um, Man, it is so nostalgic playing this game running around. It, it, I remember we made the protagonist move very fast on purpose because we thought it would make for cool gameplay. So here we have a note. Let's uh, pick it up. Yeah, that, that sound effect is my brother saying, T by the way. We made all our sound effects ourselves. Let's open up the inventory and read the note. You are in the center halls of the castle. This deserted wing's only connection to the main city is through the wooden temple. Okay. All right, so I think... Okay, there we go. So, for some reason, we cannot go this way. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I think there might be some kind of invisible barrier blocking us or something, but let's go this way instead. So, here are the center halls, and uh, we can see that our health bar is actually only half full. So, we want to explore a little bit down here. Oh, we see some potions. Let's pick those up. Now, you can drink these by clicking on the eye and then uh, and then uh, clicking on them. However, I'm actually not going to do that because I remember very specifically that there is some kind of HP Restore power-up somewhere here. Ah, here we go. The Wooden Grave. Yes. So, uh, these little ghosts that you see floating around you, they're harmless. We just put them in there to uh, scare the player. And I, I, I think if we, we move on to this one... There we go. So that, that, that will actually fully heal you. So uh, the potions, you can save them for combat. But whenever, if you have time, you can come back here and actually just get your health restored. It's a nice little ring right here. Let's see what that does. I can't use this. That's my brother's terrific voice acting. I can't use this. He, he chose the wrong career. Like, he should have become a voice actor. So... <laughs> You do have limited inventory space. I think our inventory is completely full right now. So we have eight potions, a ring, and a note. So I do believe... I can't use this. I think in order to pick up further... We either have... I don't need this yet. Yeah, lovely. So I think in order for us to pick up more... Will, too much to carry around. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem, actually, because I don't think there's any I way to... I don't need this yet. I don't think there's any way to throw items... Out. Oh, never mind, there is actually. Look at that, look at that. You can throw items on the ground by doing this. Of course, you kind of pick them up again if you're not careful, so... Okay, right. Very nice. Okay, so, yeah, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have ten inventory slots, so... Let's read this new note, shall we? 
I am trapped here. There is no way out. These walls seem unbreakable. I warn you, whoever, whoever reads this, there are creatures like I have never seen before. They hunt me like food. I am hidden well enough in this wooden chamber. Watch out for... Ooh, and then he died. Mmm, spoopy. Very spoopy. It's real. Too much to carry around. Alright, so I don't actually know if there's any point to holding on to these notes, but I'll do it anyway. I'll throw away some potions. I have some available inventory space. So yeah, we're just gonna leave those guys. I drew those guys in paint, by the way, those monsters. I remember, I had a lot of fun with those. Anyway, let's uh, continue exploring the center halls. So here we, the doors are locked, so we need to find some way to open them. Again, this is, oh, whoops, sorry, I, <laughs> I open up Visual Basic when I alt tab. That's a bit of a, that's a bit of a, a bit of a mistake. So yeah, this is very similar to the old castle game. Uh, tons of locked doors. You need to find a way to open them. And uh, what do you have here? An NPC. Let's uh, let's go talk to him, shall we? Who are you? They call me the Swamper. I'm guarding the gates around here. <laughs> oh, my brother's voice acting is the best. <laughs> What's about the potions? The potions heal you, distance you from death. Be sure to use them wisely. They are really valuable. Hmm, okay. We gotta, we gotta save those healing potions, guys. I want to enter the door behind you. If you bring me the blue potion located in the end of the root of thorns, I will see what I can do. I have opened the gate for you. Oh, we just picked up our first quest, ladies and gentlemen. That's cool. What about this ring? The ring you're carrying on your finger once belonged to a scientist called... I don't even know how to begin to explain that to you guys. That is like a meme that my brother... So, Shvirutevardal, he was this, like, math teacher? No, science teacher? I don't remember. He was... Was it like... He was a teacher... He was very interested in rocks and minerals, and he was an old man, and he would, like, have these, like, hour-long speeches where he would just talk, and he spoke in a really high-pitched voice. The ring you're carrying on your finger once belonged to a scientist called... That was basically the teach, a teacher we had. We, we attended the same school, my brother and I, so that was, again, we... That's just, that, it's a meme from our childhood, let's just put it that way. So anyway, he has opened the path. Yeah, there we go. So now that path is open. So let's uh, enter. Oh boy! Yeah, okay. So, mm, okay. So Route of Thorns. This is combat right here. So I think you attack by pressing space. There we go. Oh, that opens two more guys. So you got to try and not take on both of them. Oh, this is actually a problem. So now I think I'm actually going to leave and come back because uh, you really don't want the enemies to bunch up together. Oh, never mind. Seems like they remember it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I killed them. But I took a lot of damage in the process. Let's drink a healing potion. That heals you... Not that much. I, could, I should probably just have gone up to the power-up and healed myself, but... Anyway, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more battles ahead here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is bad. So, if we move on to this one, yeah. That gives you an aura that increases your speed. Ooh, melee protection. Yeah, I can't kill the black demon. It's impossible. It's impossible. So, uh, 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 ah, 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 no. ah, ah, <laughs> Game over. So, yeah, this game, very tough. Very difficult. Um, I don't actually think there's a way to reset. There should be a way to... I think I actually have to start over from the, from the beginning. Yeah. It's a tough game. It's a really tough game, actually. I think, if I'm not completely mistaken, I think I have to poison the Black Demon by moving over. I think that's the, the, the solution to this puzzle. Anyway, let me, let me, let me restart this game. Alright, so we are back. Um, and that's just Visual Basic being Visual Basic. <laughs> Nothing much you can do about that. Uh, so yeah, here we are once again. I think it might be a mistake that you're not allowed to go this way, because I seem to recall that you could go down this way, but yeah, I'm gonna pick up the notes, and uh, I'm gonna go pick up the healing potions as well, as well as the ring. There we go. I'm gonna pick up that note as well. So uh, let's go and speak to the Swamper and get him to open the gate for us. If you bring me the blue... There we go. And uh, let's, uh, I, rem I remember one thing we really struggled with when we made this was trying to make sure the character couldn't go through walls. Because you see here, if we enter here, 
it is possible to get him stuck in the walls. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I was able to do it. And if you if you keep doing this, you, you can actually go through the wall if you're persistent enough. So I remember my brother spent an entire evening trying to, like, fix this. Like, he was so frustrated because, um, like, there were so many issues with Wishel Basic. You would get errors all the time. I mean, we basically created our own... Too much to carry around. Basically created our own engine, which is pretty impressive, honestly. So, yeah, here we go. Let's... Honestly, there isn't much strategy to the combat of this game. Like, you you literally just button mash, but you have to try and be careful not to... Uh, you have to try and be careful not to let them surround you. You want to try and take fights against them uh, one at a time. So, I'm going to go and grab this. I think you can... I'm not entirely sure, but... Okay, I'm going to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It doesn't pause when you enter the inventory. Oh, God. Ah! <sighs> Yeah, okay. I I think I'm just gonna go back and heal. <laughs> I don't I do not remember how to deal with the black demon. I, I I seem to recall that you can poison him somehow. But you can see Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so that opens up when you kill two of them, that opens it up. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the speed buff to go and get the Is it kinda broken that you can just use this as much as you want? But I guess game design, we 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 weren't perfect game designers back then. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this aura and I'm gonna run away. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, so this is the po this is the poison aura thing. Yeah. So so now we are able to poison the black demon. See that? See that? There we go. So that's how you deal with him. You uh you have to go grab the poison uh, aura debuff and then use that to kill him. Okay, I think there might be a boss fight down there, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, there's a red demon. I think he's just very diff- I think, um, I think if you try to- I think if you try to, uh, go up against him, like, just straight one versus one, I think he'll just kill you. I don't think you can kill him, so. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the- I'm gonna grab the speed power up, and I'm gonna go and heal myself, again. I think that this also makes you do more damage, although I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna see if I can poison him first, because I, again, it's been many years since I played this game, but I remember we, 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 we like, planned out these fights very carefully, so. He can be poisoned. Oh, actually, that was very effective. Did you look at that? And I think I picked up an item there. But I don't think it loaded properly. I don't need this yet. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I picked up an item. Oh, okay, so that opens that path. There was an invisible item on the ground there. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. Okay, there we go. The cook. Oh, no, the cook. The cook is here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, so you cannot... I, if I remember correctly, he will just kill you immediately. So, uh, and I also don't think he can be poisoned. I'm going to go and check. I'm going to try poison him and see if it works. That actually does work, so I guess... But I, I think it takes a while. Yeah, you see that? You see that? You cannot, you cannot attack him. Um, you need to poison him. So, uh, let's go back, get the poison aura. And let's poison him again. He has a lot of health, so. There you go, we got him. And uh, once again, yeah, so, there's a bug, it seems. This is the blue potion. I don't know what happens if you try to drink it. I'm, I don't want to find out, honestly. I think it might kill you. But uh, it seems like some of the items are not being loaded properly. They're actually invisible. But again, like, this is just visual basic coding in a nutshell. There's just errors everywhere, right? So, uh, I'm gonna drink a... No, actually, there's no need for me to drink a potion. I can just go heal myself here on this power-up. Honestly, we should have made this, like, a temper... Like, a... it should have had charges, I think. It's a bit broken that you can just use it as much as you want. Anyway, hey, Swamper. Um... But what did you want me to do? I have forgotten. Arg! Enter the root of thorns and look for a potion in the end of it. I think it may be guarded by some kind of creatures. <laughs> okay. Uh, why can I not? Like, I have the potion here, though. Uh, whoops, did I drink it? Oh, no, I drank it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The potion's healed. Oh, no, I drank the potion. I think, I think the quest is not doable at this point. Did we make it respawn? No, we did not. Okay, so I've softlocked myself essentially here. That's that's fantastic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I knew. I knew that was a mistake. I should not have drank the potion. I think I think the quest is not completable right now. Wait, I picked up something. Oh no. Okay. They call me. They call me the swamper. The potion. 
potion. The ring. Okay, I think I have to restart the game now, so so be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I am back, and I think I was able to load the game in properly now, because now I see there's actually a green potion here. I'm not entirely sure what that does. It also seems like some of the sound effects are working properly right now, so I guess a res reset was what I needed to do. Yeah, now you can see the potion, see there? Yeah, they were invisible before for some reason. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just... Okay, maybe, maybe I'll just drink a few. I don't need this. Oh, looks like yet. the looks like the potion's vanished. Again, this is a bug, I think. Yeah, okay. Alright, so it, it appears that yeah, so now it, you see that shit? You see all the bugs that you get? Uh, yeah, let's just kill the cook. Oh boy, oh 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 oh, oh boy oh boy oh the, the game doesn't pause when you open up inventory. That's kind of cool. However, you can still pick up the items, but I'm wondering if that's... Because I didn't notice any, any dialogue with the Swamper when I talked to him. So it could just be... Anyway, let's just kill the cook. Okay, so we have the potion in our inventory right now. Let's see if we can go talk to him. Hi, Swamper. They call me the... Uh, oh, here's the potion. Open the gate. Lovely. Let's go. Uh oh Thanks. The gate behind me leads to nothing. Uh, the real way is open now. From my point of view, uh, go to the right. What? What? Huh? What? I don't remember this. What? Why should I? Why should I go to the? I thought this is okay. This has been a long while since I played this game, but I seem to recall that this actually opens the gate behind him. What did he want me to do? I don't want you to do anything. If you want to escape from the center halls, the escape is to the right. I think, okay, so I actually think he lies to you. I, I, again, it's been so long since I played this game, but I think he's actually evil. Go to the right? All right, so I think I might be able to go down now. No? Okay. Go to the right. Let's try going down the Root of Thorns again. No? Oh, so that gives you a yeah. Okay, so now I seem to recall. So now we have a we have a, a potion. I think if you drink this, I think you will die. What happens if we try to give him the uh, the poison? Oh, right. Now you can go down there. Right, right, right. Okay, I see, I see. Um, okay, cool. So let's go down now. Oh, more more Gula's chamber. Oh shit, we got another boss fight. Okay. Right. Oh, how do we do this one again? She has a minion, even. Yeah, so you can't fight her. Uh, can you poison her? Yes, you can, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. It seems to be the the answer to pretty much everything. Oh! What the fuck? Alright. Um, I don't remember this puzzle at all. <laughs> There's, like, this little X, and then there... Oh, now I think I remember. So I think actually most of her minions are invisible. So I think in order, you gotta step on the eye, and the eye will reveal them. My brother was a big Zelda fan, so you, yeah, you can tell like this is a, this is a Zelda puzzle basically. You gotta. So I think when you step on the eye, I think her minions become revealed. I don't remember what the red X does, but yeah, I guess I have to reset the entire game now. I, all right, so we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm I've got gotten the blue potion. Uh -oh. I've given it to the Swamper. Thanks. Uh. And now it's time to go face Morgula again. You die very quickly in this game, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab the speed buff. Um, like so. And I'm gonna try and get to the eye immediately. Oh, I don't know what happened here! Uh, oh, I think that just cancels out your aura. Okay, so I don't know, um, I don't know what happened here. Oh! Oh, yes, you see that? You see that? Now you can see the enemies. Now you can see the enemies. When you click on the eye, that blue thing becomes uh, visible, I think, or I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but she doesn't take any damage. I don't actually remember how to kill her. Oh, okay, that's... Let's get out of here! Oh, no! Oh, that's cruel. Oh, that is incredibly cruel. What the hell were we thinking? What the actual fuck? That is not cool. Okay, so the... I didn't pick up any potions because I figured they weren't really good for much because they don't heal you that much. But yeah, alright. Um, I guess I'll have to... 
God, I have to do everything from the start again, by the way, every time I die. There is no save feature in this game. Alright, so here I am once again, uh, ready to take on Morgula. I got a lot of healing potions stored up this time around, but I still don't know how we're supposed to do this. So you can see, yeah, her minions are actually... Uh, uh, I... There are invisible foes in this room. But again, I... I think I have... Yeah, I have to kill her minion first. I have to kill her minion first. Uh... What the hell? What am I supposed to do here? I don't... I don't know. I'm gonna drink some potions. I don't need this yet. Okay, Morgula's chamber. So she, she takes no damage from the poison. Yeah, she is immune to the poison. I can cancel out the potion, but... Okay, this that's like an aura cancellation thing. Okay, I'm still taking damage from something here. I think I need to touch it. I think I need... Oh, there we go. Okay. So something happened there. Uh, okay. There's something moving around the room. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's another one. Do I need to hit her normally? I, I think so? Let me... Okay, I, I, I only have two potions yet. left now, guys. Okay, let's try and attack her melee protection, okay? I have no idea. Do I need to make the only... I think I need to make the minions collide with her to kill her. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. What the actual... She's not... Wait, did she take damage there? I think she's taking a little bit of damage there. What if I get this aura and I... T oh, now I can hurt her. Okay, so now I can hurt her when I have this aura, but I still have, like, no health left. So... What the actual fuck? How does this work? Wait, wait, wait. Is she taking damage? No. So the minions do not hurt her at all. But I was able to deal damage to her for a brief moment there. Alright, so I am back. This time around, I'm gonna try and see what happens if I drink the green potion. Nothing happened. I wonder if that actually will make me able to damage Morgula now. So... Uh, I... Okay, I need to kill her little minion first. That's very important. Um... Yeah, I'm t I, I take a lot of damage here. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god. Okay, I need to, I need to poison her minion. There we go. Okay, very good. Okay. Holy fucking shit! The amount of I damage that you take in this fucking game. Okay, so the green potion did nothing, I think. Oh! Oh! I did damage! I did damage to her. She's taking damage now. I, I don't know... Oh. Ah! No, she healed! What? No, no, she didn't heal. Oh, I think I hit her minions. I think that's the problem. Fuck! Oh my god! I did it. What? Hello? Hello? Hello, are you up to it? No, it's good. I'm looking for I'm driving a recorder now. Have you ever wanted to tell me how I take my gula? Do you remember how I take it? Om jeg, om jeg husker hvordan man tar, tar henne? Ja, for jeg, jeg, jeg er helt fucked. Jeg, jeg klarer ikke. Jeg klarer ikke å ta henne. <laughs> tar du den grønne, onde auraen, og, ja, og, og, ja. og så går vi på henne, og så dør hun ikke? Hun dør ikke. K kanskje hun dør, men ikke, kanskje hun ikke dør veldig fort, jeg vet ikke. Jeg dør med en gang. Nei. Så, men det er sånne usynlige oh, ja. monstre inne i rommet. Ja, som sikkert tar dritt mye liv, ikke sant? Mhm. Mm Oh, ja, så er det en som heter Morgulas Minion. Ja, det er den lille dritten. Det er den lille dritten som går rundt henne. Den må gøres, fordi når den dabber, så... Jeg vil se. Men det du kan gjøre da, fordi jeg, dette spillet er jo ikke balansert i det hele tatt, ikke sant? Nei, ja, det merker du dette. <laughs> <laughs> så det du kan gjøre, det er at jeg kan vise deg hvor i koden, så kan du bare gå inn og så justere der. Nei, 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 det, det, er, det er for, for feiging. Jeg skal, altså, jeg skal ta deg autentisk. Vi, klar, vi klarte å runde dette spillet når vi var små, så vi må, vi må klare det nå. Alright, let's try this one more time, shall we? We have, uh... Let's make sure we have all the potions. Yeah, okay, let's go. So, uh... According to my brother, you can poison her with the, with the poison thingy. 
it is possible to do it. Um, so it's just that she doesn't. She has a lot of health. That's that's it. But okay, let me just. Um, I think I'm getting confused, but yeah, you can see she is actually taking damage from the poison. It's just that every time one of those ghosts hit me, uh, the the game displays their health bars instead of Morgulas because the game can only display display one health bar at a time. So what I need to do is I need to reveal these ghosts so I know where they are. There we go. So every time I touch them with this aura, I can see where they are. I think there's three of them. Uh, and then, I think there's one more. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so now, once I... I don't need this. Now that I can see them, I can avoid them. And then you just gotta go, yeah. She, so she does actually take damage from the poison, I think. It's just that I see the health bar of the ghosts. So, uh, I need to just very briefly touch her with yes. the poison aura, and then I need to get away from her. That's how you do it. So, it, it, it is actually the poison aura that damages her. Oh, there we go. Got her. Yeah, n now it's displaying the health bar of the ghosts. That's what confused me. I thought she wouldn't take any damage, but she will die. Sooner or later, she will die from the poison. It's just a matter of being... It's just a matter of being um, being patient. And try to poison her without getting her to touch you. So reveal the ghosts, then poison Margula. That's how you deal. That's how you deal with her. Whole uh, lot of potions. Please die. Please die. Please die. <laughs> please die. Oh, please die. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ, that was a hard boss. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wait, what? Um, I think I bugged the game. Oh no, oh no, what the hell? Wait, what? You gotta be shitting me right now. You gotta be shitting me right now. The door isn't opening properly. Is it because I didn't pick up the ring? I think that might, oh my god, no, please no, oh my goodness, I did the boss and it still failed. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so uh, I had to call my brother and we actually had to fix the bug, so we couldn't find the code that uh, prevented the door from opening, but what we did was we actually set the new starting area as the next room you reach after you defeat Morgula and you go back to the Swamper. When you go back to the Swamper, by the way, he's not there, he's vanished, because we actually plan to make him like a boss later on. Um, spoilers, I know, but I can spoil it because we never got that far, so uh, this is the room that you reach. And it's actually kind of cool to see that the main menu actually changes colors to green to reflect the fact that you are in the wooden path now. So I think, yeah, once you once you enter the door that was behind the Swamper, you come out here, and that's kind of like act two of the game. So yeah, this is the wooden path. Uh, let's start exploring. You can't go up here. This, path, this part of the game is a little unfinished, but yeah, you can go down here though, and that closes this door right here. I remember, yeah. So you can't you can't go 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 in further there. So let's go this way instead. The library. Okay, not much to see here. Not much to see here at all. Let's. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and restart because I, I think I bugged out the game because I'm pretty sure it's supposed. To... Oh, okay, you're not you're not able to go over here. I seem to recall that there used to be a uh, there used to be an NPC here somewhere, but I th think this is it actually. Yeah, I think this is as far as this version goes. Yeah, as you can see, it's not very it's not very finished at all. Um, I think this is actually an older version of the game because I seem to recall that there used to be... You could go up here, up to the north, and you would meet a frogman named Moshes. And there was also a wizard there named Quell, I think. So, uh, but this is as far as the new... This is as far as the new area got. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the game. However, I want to show you guys the secret Shvir level. Uh, it, 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 there's no way to reach it at the moment. So you guys remember how, uh, how I talked about this teacher we had, which was an old man who talked a lot. Well, uh, if you enter the secret Schwir level, this is what you get. <laughs> that's, that's his head right <laughs> That's how he looked like. He was an old man. We thought he was very funny. Sadly, it, it, he has curse protection, so you can't curse him. 
this was kind of just... I think we... I think we used this room to test out the auras and the effect they had on... on, uh, on, on the enemies. But yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty much everything I had to show off about Castle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as you can see, my, my my desire to create games started very early on. And I remember me and my brother, we had a lot of fun making this game. I hope, I hope it was enjoyable to watch as well. I'm not going to put this one up for public download because... Um, the hoops you have to jump through in order to play this game is too much. And I don't want to deal with all the questions I'm going to get in my mail. Like, how do I do this? Blah, 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 blah. I'm just, sorry. I'm not going to. This is this is the property of me and my brother's childhood. I'm not going to I'm not gonna put it out on the internet for others to download. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.